so friends our unit 3 as per the syllabus is bending stresses and now we shall discuss the multiple choice questions on unit number 3 so let us start next a beam of square cross section 100 by 200 i don't see that just one minute please yes section 200 by 200 mm is fixed as a cantilever beam of span 3 meter what udl can be applied throughout the length of the beam if maximum stress is not to exceed 5 newton per mm square so let us solve it here uh, instead of looking at the options first of all we shall solve it okay uh, so what are the options or given data it is a cantilever beam correct of span 3 meter so this is my beam and it is uh, subjected to a UDL okay I will not show the UDL here uh, maybe I will try to draw it here like this this is our UDL okay and uh, my value is W I don't know how much is this value I have to find what has been given is F max okay maximum stress is 5 <clears throat> this has been given then uh, span is 3 meters span is 3 meters this one so what i can find is maximum bending moment what will be maximum bending moment for a cantilever beam it will be wl square by 2 okay it will be wl square by 2 so let us find out m max is equal to l square is 3 square so 9 square <coughs> sorry 3 square which is 9 so w into 9 upon 2 so it is 4.9 w okay maximum bending moment is 4.5 times w w l square by 2 3 square by 2 9 by 2 is 4.5 so now i know what is moment in terms of <coughs> load i have to find this u d l okay uh, next is beam is of square cross section 200 by 200 and what is my equation of bending stresses i'll just note down here uh, f upon y f by y is equal to m upon i is equal to e upon r this is my equation here f max is 5 given y y is the uh, what we can say depth of the cross section uh, not the depth it is the uh, depth of maximum stress from neutral axis okay so if 100 is the 200 is the depth y will be d by 2 which is 100 so i know now what is y value okay d by 2 then m max i know and i value also i can find out using uh, the cross sectional dimensions so bd cube by 12 okay so i'll just calculate for you what is bd cube by 12 so it is 200 into 200 cube upon 12 okay so i'll just substitute the values here one by one what is f 5 divided by y max or y 100 so 5 upon 100 it is equal to what is m max 4.5 w divided by my i value is 1 3 3 this much is the value <coughs> okay this much is the value. So,
so i just have to simplify this and find out the answer first option is 14.8 kN per meter second is 1.48 kN per meter third is 148 kN per meter and fourth is 7.2 kN per meter so my answer will be 1.48 kN per meter please remember all values in the equation substituted are in newton and millimeter okay all are in newton and millimeter so after simplifying after getting w convert this in kilonewton meter that's it okay so you will get option b as correct answer let us go to next question a steel plate is bent into a circular arc of radius 10 meter if the plate section be 120 mm wide and 20 mm thick then the maximum bending stress is equal to again maximum bending stress has been asked 100 newton per mm square 150 newton per mm square 200 newton per mm square and 300 newton per mm square so cross sectional area is 120 by 20 e value is 2 into 10 raised to 5 what is asked is maximum bending stress so again maximum bending stress is equal to f by y is equal to m by i okay so we don't know what is m we don't know what is uh, i but i value we know we can find out capital e is given okay radius is given so instead of m and i values we have to make use of uh, e and r and m value no f value we have to find i'll just write down the equation here what is our equation f by y is equal to m upon i it is equal to e upon r okay in this capital e is given r is given please remember r is in meters so uh, uh, convert this in millimeters so 10 into 1000 so it is 10000 okay so e value will be 2 into 10 raised to 5 divided by 10 into 1000 so 10000 so this is e by r and f by y <coughs> again y value will be half of the depth what is depth 20 so uh, y by 2 is 20 by 2 which is 10 so f by 10 is equal to this particular ratio okay we'll try to write here f divided by 10 it is equal to e value 2 into 10 raised to 5 so 5 zeros on 2 divided by 10000 <coughs> so this uh, will give us uh, something like this f by 10 okay f by 10 is equal to i have to uh, cut how many zeros 1 2 3 4 so four zeros are cut from here 1 2 3 4 so it is only 20 <coughs> okay f by 10 is 20 so f will be 200 f will be 200 so i should have option c as my correct answer let us see Hundred is the answer, correct? Uh, let me check.
I think option C is correct, not A. Okay. Uh, this is one wrong calculation or wrong option I have given. Uh, option C is correct. Okay. So make this correction. 